I'm so excited to talk with you guys. Congrats on the final season of Jack Ryan. Um, You know, right off the bat, with this being the last season and having personally watched all of them now, which are, they're such explosive episodes. I was on the edge of my seat each time. Um, There's such a real sense of closure. So how do you feel, um, each of you, about how season four completes the Jack Ryan story? I'm personally extremely proud of it. I think that it was, it's a bittersweet thing, uh, the end of this show, because, um, you know, the end of the show, we wanted the last season to be exciting and thrilling for the audience, but we also wanted to acknowledge for the people who've been with us in season one, acknowledge the culmination of these relationships and these characters uh, in a very genuine way that would mean something to them so that they were involved in saying goodbye as well. Um, and I think that we we pulled that off. That was really, really exciting and clearly reflective of our uh, interactions in real life. I mean, saying goodbye to these guys uh, luckily, I don't have to in my real life. Um, I don't know, Michael, we're on the fence, but um, <laughs> but it's uh, it's it's truly been the greatest experience, uh, you know, of, of career and life to, to get to work with these guys. And um, so season, season four picks up from season three in which there are consequences to Jack's actions. So, John, where is Jack heading this season and what can we anticipate? Um, well, I think for the first time, Jack realizes that um, the gray area that Greer taught him about um, is not always uh, outside of uh, the um, agency, that this time it's inside the agency. And so I think there's a sense of betrayal that Jack's um, wrestling with. And so he's not only trying to save the world, but he's also trying to save his ideal of what he thought he was doing and who, uh, what group he thought he was a part of and um, making sure that there's still hope for the, the good people to come out on top. Uh, Wendell, also interesting aspect this season, uh, the relationship between Jack and Greer ha- has evolved, but there's a bit of a tug of war sort of, you know, relationship for him in terms of, you know, having a relationship with his son. And I've always felt like he is a bit of a dad sometimes to Jack. So I'm curious with like, you know, that that dynamic, um, what's the challenge that he's facing this year and what can fans expect? Well, through our research from the very beginning, uh, talking to the real life officers of uh, uh, the CIA, they said that the work can have a real strain on family life. In particular, the consultant that I've become friends with uh, told me his personal story of how um, two marriages have fallen apart. And it's, uh, and I wanted to reflect that. So, and, and how uh, the connection with your kids is strained. And um, so knowing that that is real and something that is very authentic, we wanted to make sure to bring that into what we already taking to another level, the threefold action, the intelligence, and then the humanity in the show. And uh, add that with the the family conflict, it was a new dynamic to the fourth season uh, and final season for James. Yeah, and Michael, um, it's interesting because your character is not an original Clancy creation, which means he can be anywhere and maybe even in the spinoff, I'm not sure. Um, But how fun has it been to create this personality from the ground up and then evolve this relationship with Jack and Greer? Oh, it's it's been an it's been a blast. It's been it's been such a been such a treat, um, and to create it together, um, you know, I, I did, obviously didn't have a lot, any any say in the beginning. I was I was hired, and but the way that the the path that that character took through season two, by the book CIA guy to, to the end of the season where he's he's gone, he leaves his job because he knows what. Jack wants to go do is the right thing to do, and he's going to go do it with him. Um, and then we were able to, you know, these guys can just kind of we we made him what he became by the end of that second season, and it and it happened, I think, organically with the relationships that the three of us had, sort of helped shape that that character. And so he's been a lot of fun to play. I, I can tell you that much. And I, I did it forever. <laughs> I feel like this is also like a show where you guys have such strong romances. So I'm sure this is going to be something you're going to miss. Completely, <laughs> It's been so fun to see that. Um, yeah, before I do let you guys go, um, John, I'm such a huge fan of your writing and your directing. And I actually cannot wait personally for Imaginary Friends. Um, oh, thank you very much. Yeah, it sounds so phenomenal and like really interesting. So I'm wondering if you can share anything about that and, you know, what's after imaginary friends oh man i don't know what's after uh if it was a a, a idea i had about seven years ago and and finally got to make it and uh it is extremely personal it's a movie that i made for my kids because i don't think they're allowed to see quiet place emily calls it pg-40 you'll get to see it (laughs) 
Um, so I had to make a movie that they could see. Um, and I'm really, really excited about it. I mean, Ryan Reynolds is as good as it gets in every single uh, way, shape and form. And this uh, incredible phenom of an actress, Kaylee Fleming is in the movie. And uh, for me, it was just about, um, what if we could tell a story about uh, these time capsules? Uh, imaginary friends are adorable and all those things, but they're also time capsules of your hopes, dreams, and ambitions when you were the most fertile of, uh, of, of a brain and, and it never goes away. I think we're told that we're adults instead of what if you realize that you never stop being a kid. Well, that sounds amazing. I can't wait. And again, guys, congrats on this show. I love this one so much. I've watched it since from the start with my dad and my sister, and we're just obsessed. So thank you for making this <laughs> incredible you. show. Yeah, I'm a big fan of you three, so I wish you continued success. Thank, thank you, so you very, much. very much.